So the Kanjo. Basically what I did to put this one together is I had this old banjo neck that I got off of eBay that was really warped. Um, had to wrap it in some wet towels, throw it in the oven and bake it for about an hour. And when I pulled it out it was soft enough that I could almost stretch it back to being straight. Um, never got completely straight though so I had to sand down this part of the neck kind of giving it a scoop neck look and uh, was able to make it straight enough there to play. Um, obviously we got this old tin can from the Pennsylvania Motor Oil Company at Montgomery Wards. Got this also off of eBay. Um, had to drill a hole in the top and one in the bottom to stick the neck down through because um, there's a piece of wood that attaches to the neck. Goes straight down here, made it real easy and real convenient to put that together that way. Then put on a screw down at the bottom to hold the neck on when the strings are off because right now the strings are the only thing holding the neck on there. Um, as far as the bridge, um, inspired by a guy at the Albuquerque Folk Festival, we have two screws held together with a bolt in the middle and I had to raise the action a little bit on it by putting some of these little bolts underneath it as well. Um, drilled six holes down at the bottom, sorry, five holes down at the bottom to put the strings through and put it all together. So let's see how it sounds. That's the Kanjo, also inspired by another guy on YouTube. So stay tuned for next time. We'll hopefully have the electric guitar can thing. Thanks for watching.